U.S. officials charged WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange with violating the Espionage Act on Thursday. The additional 17-count indictment alleges Assange and WikiLeaks have repeatedly sought, obtained, and disseminated information that the United States classified due to the serious risk. These new charges raise the stakes for First Amendment rights and prompts questions about protections for those who publish classified information. Assange is currently in British custody after leaving the Ecuadorian embassy in London. He is fighting extradition charges to the United States. He was originally charged with conspiracy to penetrate a military computer with the help of former U.S. Army intelligence officer Chelsea Manning. WikiLeaks responded to the indictment, tweeting, This is madness. It is the end of national security journalism and the First Amendment. Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. So whatever you think or say about Assange, that's fine. But the U.S. government says they believe in free press, yet Assange is still charged with treason for being a journalist. Okay, and that's because real news nowadays is a crime. If anything, it could be effectively argued WikiLeaks and by extension Assange helped get Trump elected. But what happens is people don't want to hear about journalism anymore. It's being criminalized. So they have all their ways of demonizing this person and putting him in one light. So And then Trump shies away when we know what happened during the 2016 campaign and what whatever you think of this news source here they're speaking some some relative truth so let's let's take a listen right donald trump made no secret during 2016 that he appreciated wikileaks and founder julian assange for publishing thousands of hacked democratic emails many of them damaged to hillary Cl damaging to hillary clinton i love wikileaks he said more than once as the group posted emails stolen by russian operatives from clinton campaign chairman john podesta's gmail account once Trump won the presidency, though, the praise gave way to condemnation by top administration officials. His CIA director branded WikiLeaks a non-state hostile intelligence service, and his attorney general vowed to see Assange arrested. By Thursday, that turnout was complete as Assange was expelled from his longtime hideout in Ecuador's embassy in London in response to a U.S. A US extradition request and a criminal indictment. And Trump told reporters in the Oval Office, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. So what are they talking about here? Well, they're talking about this. Let's take a listen. Mr. President, do you still love WikiLeaks? Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. And uh, I know there is something having to do with uh, Julian Assange. I've, I've been seeing what's happened with uh, Assange, and uh, that will be a determination, I would imagine, mostly by the Attorney General, who's doing an excellent job. So he'll be making a, a determination. I know nothing really about him. It's not my, it's not my deal in life. So it's not his deal in life. He knows nothing about WikiLeaks. Yet we have this, and I know you've seen it already. Let's just take another look. WikiLeaks! WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks. These WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks as confirmed just today by WikiLeaks. It's been amazing what's coming out on WikiLeaks. They want to distract us from WikiLeaks. The wonder of WikiLeaks. Boy, that WikiLeaks has done a job on her, hasn't it? We've learned so much from WikiLeaks. Oh, we love WikiLeaks. Boy, they have really WikiLeaks. 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 I mean, this WikiLeaks is fascinating. The WikiLeaks revelations. This WikiLeaks is like a treasure trove. WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks, right? WikiLeaks. And you know, as I was getting off the plane, they were just announcing new WikiLeaks, and I wanted to stay there, but I didn't want to keep you waiting. I love reading those WikiLeaks. Okay, so we sort of get the point, but let's let's hear it one more time, just for, just for posterity. Do you still love WikiLeaks? Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. And uh, I know there is something having to do with uh, Julian Assange. I've, I've been seeing what's happened with uh, Assange, and uh, that will be a determination, I would imagine, mostly by the Attorney General, who's doing an excellent job. So he'll be making a, a determination. I know nothing really about him. It's not my, it's not my deal in life. Well, not his deal in life. So I wonder if he's going to pardon Assange, okay? I wonder if he's going to advocate for truth. I wonder what we'll see in that sense. All right. Because, you know, if, if he wants to fight the deep state, it seemed like the deep state uh, was really being exposed with WikiLeaks help. So we'll see where that goes. Right. Sure. California Carter signing off.